Hey, Carm 3D on the tube here. I have a question on my comments from my last video, my point splitter video. Sammy in England downloaded the plugin that uh, it talks about and he scanned his directory and then he wants to know how to use the plugin. So obviously, uh, Mr. in England does not know how to uh, attach a plugin to a keyboard shortcut or add, how to add buttons. So most of you can. Uh, safely click, a, click away now unless you're just desperate for entertainment. So I went on uh, flay.com and basically I'm just going to go through the whole process from scratch live. Well actually I'll edit it later but anyway. So I'm going to pick this here. I don't have this plug-in. Never used it. It's called Polygon Islands. Scale groups of polygons around their average normal. Sounds like fun. So I'll click there to get that. Let's see it's free so let's just go here and download it. Alright, so I'm going to download the cell script. Here it is. I don't need the Mac version. Because I think similar. And now let's go into Modeler and implement it. Okay, in the Utilities tab, this will open up a new bank of buttons on your left. I'm going to click on Add Plugins. I'm not choosing the scan directory because I know I just want one single plugin. And I'm going to look in my L Scripts third party directory that I made. I have all these customized, so it's going to be different on your end. And I'm looking for a file called MF Polygon something, which would be right here Polygon Islands. Open. Okay. In this window, you can see under name, this is the name of the plugin as it's attached into Lightwave. This is not the actual physical file name, but this is like a pseudo name, it's given it an alias. And uh, right above it, you see the actual file name. And uh, just in case you need to know, it just tells you where it's located on your drive. So, done. Now there's two ways to implement this, two basic ways. In layout it's a little more complicated, but here you can uh, either attach it to a keyboard shortcut or to a menu button on the on the side. So we'll do both. That way you can choose how you want to do it for your own plugins, Mr. In England. So I'm going going to start by going into edit menu layout. Let me do that again. Go in the edit, pull down here on the top. This this little corner here of these groups of buttons, they don't change no matter what tab you click on. So it's always available. Edit menu layout. That brings up this panel. And if you want, you can type a search and type in the thing you're looking for. I just typed an island and it managed to find it there. So on this side you got this is the structure of all your buttons going down the left and and also buttons like uh your mouse menus and stuff like that. So I'm looking for main menu which is right here. And if you look across the top creative elements, creative elements, modify, modify it all. It's, it's all the same thing here. So clearly this is creating this. So I'm going to go to uh oh Utilities, plugins. No, no, that's standard stuff. I'm not touching that. User tab, that's what I want. And I'll just drop this under the user tab. Like so. Done. So now, when I click on user tab, there's MF Polygon Islands. And when I click on it, it says, please select some polygons. That's fine. I don't care about how to use it. And so the other option is your keyboard shortcut. So you can say, edit, keyboard shortcuts. A very similar looking panel pops up. Once again, you can type search. I'm going to type island. It'll find it again. Uh, you'll notice that this time it's dark black instead of the faded gray. That means it's assigned elsewhere. So you can know if you're being redundant. but 
That's okay, I'm going to be redundant this time. And let's assign this to a keyboard. Key, let's say, uh, gosh, I don't want to lose all my favorite settings. How about layer browser? I never use that one. So you can see I got one highlighter here, one highlighter here, assign, done. So now when I hit F7, it says once again, please select some polygons. So there you go. Let's let's add some polygons just to verify that it worked. I mean I know it worked, but this way you can see it. Polygons selected F7. F7 brings up the little panel here, so clearly it's working. What happens if I drag in here? Uh, use center of selection. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so it's doing something. Looks like I can rotate along the Y axis. Well, Anyway, that's good. Now you know how to do it. Now you can stop bothering me. Have a good day.